You've got potential. Just need to see a little more from you. All right. Take care of it. Good to see you. Let's go. Saw your ship come in. Nice ride. My brother-in-law just got back from two weeks in Paradiso. The place looked amazing, but if I have to look at one more vacation photo, I'm gonna clean this book. Pressure holding. Takeoff looks good. Do you think the documentary about your life will be made into a movie? And who do you think will play me? Tom Cruise. Hell of a view from here. This planet has gold. Maybe. What is it? AG? It's gold? I don't know what it is. Beginning landing cycle. Is it just... What the hell is the periodic table for gold? Periodic table for gold. AU, okay. You are some Latin shit. Oh, my damn, I've got lightning bolts. Hello. Maybe I should get to know the place.
tons of gold. Okay, well I got all the resources. Now I need to get these. I should go over here. Fast travel. Thank you. 
Alright. I'm already over in Cumbers. What do you need? What am I doing taking stuff? Excuse me. Very close. I what I need to do is 
get a bite to eat. Alien stew. Boom pop dynamite. Hyper giant heart. Well, my damn. Oh, so you break out the dark saber for his ass. I see.
All right. Ain't much, but it's something. Yeah, I've got to get a battery. Took one mission. I've got to get back to the um, spacecraft. I can't fast travel. Make sure I'm loaded up. Oh, look. Shoot some fireworks. kind of sucks try to get all five of them to blow up for some reason if multiple shots blow up near each other it only shoots the hornet's nest down out of one so I'm gonna have to get it spread out panorama style <laughs> like that shit. Oh my god. All right, 
fun. Dabble a bit in arm stealing. I've got this other bounty to pick up. Deserted mineral plant.
I should take a nap. Too many enemies nearby. Point of tracking them down is. is. If they're not smart enough to track you down, they're not smart enough to have good ass weapons. be a good time for a bite to eat. Boom pop. That'd be good.
That's the that's the dookie in the air. <laughs> That's that doo doo. chest in this place is where I'm not very sure about that through here right gotta open that somewhere that shit's up here I know it is yep right there Find the battery. There's usually a battery just laying around. I don't see one. fireworks then get on top of this ring
All right, time to go back to Kila City. We're going to head back to Aquila City and turn in this um, ranger quest. Oh, and I've got a buttload of Astra, too. I'll just go turn the uh, turn the quest in. in the city all class joints well except Aggies I just want to be sure you're ready oh you're back how'd it go the mission was a success good you did what I asked so let's go meet the marshal follow me Headquarters in the upper floors of the rock, but we also have remote stations throughout the rock. We'll identify and respond to threats more quickly. There are less than a dozen rangers in all, and we operate with limited resources. Thankfully, most people respect us and are willing to cooperate. In this job, your eyes, ears, and wits are every bit as important as your badge and your sidearm. Marshal. Emma, I take it you're here because you're satisfied that our new recruit can handle the job. Seems capable enough, and we could use the help. All right, then. Step forward, recruit. Let me have a word with you. Excuse me. I've got just one question. Do you pledge to defend the people of the Free Star Collective, even if it means risking your own life? I do. Good. Here, take these. You're now a Free Star Ranger deputy. I'm assigning you to Ranger Wilcox for some field training. Listen good to what she tells you. Welcome aboard, deputy. Wish we could throw you a welcome party, but there's work to do. 
We got word from a farmer on Monterra Luna. She says someone's trying to take a farm, and she's afraid she might be in danger. I'll take care of it. Well, most things do at the start. Doesn't mean they stay that way. That being said, best not to assume anything. Just try to keep an open mind. Grab any supplies you might need, and let's get going. Pay attention to what Ranger Wilcox tells you. I guess I'm ready to go do that. I'll do a little bit of fast travel right now. This is Freestar Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. All right, we're done. Go ahead and. The Wagoner Farm. Lady's got Captain, a nice place. Pleasant to see you. Over here. The Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was gonna regret it. Then they left. Hmm. We will kill them. Then I know where you can start. They headed into those canyons back behind the house. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Since these guys don't know we're after them, probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. Go and check out the. Boot tracks. Several pairs by the look. Not too old either. Let's head down into the canyon and see if we can find more.
Hi, deputy. Probably save before I get myself killed. Perhaps intentionally. Bad water.
literally trying to self prophesy my own death. my damn mag shear I find it hard to believe I don't have a mag shear what the hell scary you're a natural tracker Wish it wasn't getting dark. was a setup to keep the rangers distracted <laughs> that don't concern you if the rangers get in our way then they get what they deserve that's all you need to know now quit complaining and get back to your post we're gonna have some well fun. now look who's here Ms. Wagner called in the cavalry, <laughs> except it ain't much of a cavalry. I suggest you turn around and walk away while you still can. I'm not going anywhere, not until I get some answers. You think you're in a position to make demands. Well, I've got news for you. All you're getting from me is a shallow grave. So, got any last words I should try to remember? You're gonna eat those words, scumbag. We've been found out! Um, I'm wondering what 
what kind of situation that was. Oh, my damn sweetheart. Don't be doing that. I wonder if I've got a... Anything I can do to chill her out. That's a hit. Ha! Is that the best you've got? Well, at least I can sleep. Okay. That was a lot rougher than I expected. Let's talk. All right, cool. Just don't hit me, okay? Uh, are you oh. okay? Yeah, I'm good. Really? Guess you've led a pretty exciting life. Maybe the less I know about that, the better. Let's search the area. Maybe we can find something that explains what these guys were up to. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> Likewise. Just be looking for. Let's have a look around. Read the slate, got it. Content on, contact on the inside came through and I've got your ship. Grabbed it right out of the factory. How embarrassing for Hope Tech. Ah, okay. Hope Tech, girl. Find anything interesting? Let's see what we have here. Hmm, interesting. So... Their ship was stolen from the Hope Tech factory. Whoever pulled that off must have been one hell of a shipjacker. Well, I guess someone really wants that farm bad. Speaking of which, let's get back there and let Miss Wagoner know that she's safe. For now. For now.
What's the news? What happened? Did you find those men? They were in the canyon, canyon like you said. Well, it's good to see you're all right then. They must have been crazy or desperate, trying to take on the Free Star Rangers. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? We don't know. So I have no way of knowing if there aren't more coming. Guess I'll start sleeping with a gun nearby. I can't thank Dude. you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. We're just doing our job. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the marshal. See, they sent Emma along so Gregor doesn't help all these damsels distress. Jumping. Whenever I'm lost, I think, what would you do in my shoes? Not literally, but I've got small feet. Approaching ship, you've entered Freestar Collective Space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Say again, respond immediately or we will be forced to... You're on the wanted list. Halt and prepare to be boarded or we will be forced to open fire. Oh. I didn't mean to hit her. Why did you have to turn me in, Copy Emma? Copy that. Stay on course while we escort you in. Man, what the fuck? The Free Star Collective's got a reputation for being a little lawless. That is not so. Why am I here? Thought I was going to Hope Tech. How did I end up in jail? Why does my head hurt so bad? If it weren't for the walls, the whole town would be an Ashta buffet. Play hard. That should be the free star motto. Mm. I feel for the folk in the stretch. I try and give a credit or two to the locals. Not everyone gets to say they work at the rock. New deputy, huh? Honor to have you. Marshal, what's the story on Montero Luna? 
That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. Miss Wagoner is safe. That's the important thing. For the time being, yes. But she could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? <clears throat> what I made of them is corpses. You enjoy the violent stuff, huh? If you have to shoot someone, make sure it's for the right reason. If they open fire on you first, then you're within your rights. But outside of that, violence of any kind should be avoided. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? They hired someone to steal a ship from Hope Tech. Hope Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Freestar militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? That sound familiar at all? The First Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway. Finding the starship thief that those men hired is our best lead. Hell, it's our only lead. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Uh, I'll do what I have to. Normally, I'd praise that kind of dedication, but you need to maintain a sense of perspective here. Our authority and our power comes from the Council of Governors. Remember that. This is your assignment now, Deputy. Work with the other rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Good hunting, Marshal. Gonna do a bit of fast travel. <laughs> I crash into your ship. Solid docking job there. Nice work. See, Sarah ain't so bad.
Well, there ain't nothing wrong with you. There. I definitely need all that. And all this. Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. I'm here to help. <laughs> You need my help. Uh, I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. I'll see if I can get you flying again. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Thanks. I'm on it. I owe you one. Are there good weapons in here? Huh? I don't think so. That was just down below. All done. Thanks. That should get me home. These outlaw ships still need to be dealt You're with. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. Just tell me where they're he headed and I'll handle they it. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting. I got to get on my ship. Them to 
Go to Hope Town. Uh. Approaching ship. You've entered Freestar Collective space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. That's it. Welcome to Hope Town. Let's go talk to this Ron Hope. We'll regret going out there without our suits. I don't want to hear any complaints. Ron hopes the best thing that happened. Excuse me. Keep an eye on your valuables. Hello. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? No trouble at all. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Let's go meet with His him. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. You ever I'm check out the prices of tries? I'm this, but I'll say it anyway. You could buy Ron like a three of both take sheets for the same yeah. price. Council. Try to show a little respect. All the way up. Is it just
just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. I think that's the idea, and plus they get a better view. We'll check his windows out. As parts, we could try outsourcing. Do a contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn. Good to see you, Mia. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Oh, justice must be done, and the sooner the better. The person behind this will face justice, and sooner than he expects. That's the spirit. I want the thief found and prosecute it to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I am aware of your position. Then I trust that you know what I expect of you. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Of course I have a lead of some kind. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Sadly, there's no lack of mercenaries in the settled systems. I suppose the chance to cut costs by stealing a ship was too good to pass up. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. I think I don't have any questions. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust, and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. <sighs> you can count on my discretion, Mr. Hope. I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Let's go, Gregor. Okay, let's talk about next steps. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. 
I have a niece. It's enough to go on. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger stationed there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. Jalen Price, got it. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. Thanks for setting up the meeting. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. Fast travel to Neon. Heller told me the only time he ever saw Supervisor Lynn drunk was at Madame Savage's. Fill out an application today to become part of the most advanced technology corporation in the Ranger Price. It's me. Hey. I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one yes. and only. Well, the marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets. Even from us. I'm sure the people of Neon want to uphold the law. <laughs> that's that's not what they want. Hopefully I can count on your help. You can count on my help if you play by the rules. This isn't the Kila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. I won't cause trouble. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. Take me to Billy Clay. Come on. I usually screw Billy Clayton over. I think I'm gonna help him this time. It was pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Ever run yeah, to spacers? I read all the reports. Scumbags and scavengers. I learned quickly that a neon staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me facilities. was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, They'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. Hostages or not. There are two things you don't do in Neon. One, you don't mess with Bayou's money, and two, you don't take Aurora off world. But you understand that, don't you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, and you'll fit right in. It's a long walk.
Ah, Ooga Booga. What's up? Thanks for the follow, man. second what oh it's you give me a good scare i thought you were one of goodman's people sure far from it our new deputy here is working a case and i thought you might be able to help take it away rookie what do you need working and lurking i hear you man lurk on a stolen Hope Tech ship landed here recently. I need information on the pilot. Hmm. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? People could be in danger. Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now, my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? That's right. Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. I'll talk to this guy. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. Ranger Price is tough. It's just harder to keep in touch these days. Oh, come on. Seriously? Ebside's a bad place for tourists. This is private property. You'd better keep walking. This is private property. <laughs> Free Star Ranger business. Open that door. Nah, I don't think so. Neon's got a ranger, and you ain't him. Hmm. I just need a quick word with your boss. As long as you behave yourself and don't overstay your welcome, I don't see the harm in a quick visit. Here, this will get you in. We'll get much further without our suits. Hello. Well now, look here. Well now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are you? Huh. Let's see. I'm here about the debt you're trying to collect from Billy Clayton. Oh, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf. But I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. Billy can't pay the debt and you know it. Let this one go. Well, if you're attempting to appeal to my good nature, you're proceeding under a false premise. You see, in my line of work, 
it doesn't exactly pay to be soft. What's your stake in this anyway? I need information from him, so I'm helping him out. Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. I'm asking for your cooperation here. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. I don't know why I'm getting um, tutorial. I'll try to turn that off later. The Rangers can make your life real difficult if we want to. Let's just calm down now. Back that kid into a corner, you might make him dangerous. I know all about that. Come on, Billy's barely getting by as it is. Well, that ain't wrong. Maybe one day you'll need the rangers on your side. That is true. I suppose I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. Folks might try to take advantage. Not a problem. Let's go. You better watch it. I just gave you a thousand credits. You ever just feel like none of this matters? We won't get much further without our suits. Uh, are you kidding? The colors. It's taking me all the way up here. Expect a warm welcome from Goodman. Did you talk to Goodman? I persuaded him to forgive the dead. Yeah, I figured he wouldn't want to make an enemy of the Freestar Rangers. Glad the badge still means something around here. Hmm. The Syndicate doesn't worry all that much about the Rangers. I think our new deputy here is just a real smooth talker. That's right. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit, and she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Definitely need our suits. I'm still interested, but you're asking almost double the going rate. What? You think this stuff falls from the sky? I bought the world and I never Uh I think they're selling Aurora. Now, this is the last one. It'd be something else. Oh great. Just who I don't want to see. A free star ranger and his what are you? A sidekick or something? 
something like that. Now that's what I call real conviction. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. It's not my first interrogation either. In fact, I had one right here. Wow. Good for you. If that was supposed to impress me, it didn't. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? I know you stole the ship, but people might be in danger and I need your help. All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? Huh. You provided the means for mercenaries to intimidate and threaten an innocent person. Look, they didn't tell me what they were going to do. How was I supposed to know they were going to go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. If that woman I didn't say killed, anything about a farmer. To murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. Enough small talk. Tell me what you know. It, it's not that simple. You don't seem to understand. I need this information now. I do understand. I'm trying to figure out a way to help you, okay? What's the harm if you tell me? I mean, it might be okay. I give you my word. I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. I haven't heard from her since. Go on. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? I think we're done here. Works for me. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. You're free to go. Thanks for your help. Oh. Uh... You're welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Yes? Well... I am going to call it a, a morning at this point. So, see if I can raid this out. Well, I still got some viewers in here. Let's see. Pardon? I don't even know how to find my I don't I don't have any friends. <laughs> I don't think I know anybody that's streaming right now. Oh uh, 
drop you into DJ McCullough's room. He's playing some music. Thank y'all for joining me.